Hello, everybody. I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is So I'm Watching Wolfpack, Season 1, Episode 8. Trophic Cascade. Which is what happens when you reintroduce an apex predator into an ecosystem. It is a lot of times largely good, in spite of how Sarah Michelle Gellar said it in this episode. No, she said it, it was... sounded ominous. Okay. Her implications were good. Garrett's implications were bad. He was like, the elk are no longer safe. And she was like, everything's fine, though. <laughs> well, nature is a cruel mistress. Well, I mean, of course, yeah. But they, because that is true, they reintroduced wolves to Yellow Yellowstone, is what mm -hmm. she said, Yellowstone. And it, like, had a trickle-down effect quicker and stronger than we could have imagined. Like She like did she, say the word profound. Yeah, like, Riverbeds changed yeah. and came back and stuff because the animals were no, like, like it was yeah. it was amazing. Wolves are good. I'm passionate about wolves, and I belong or I follow a uh, wolf preserve, and it's nice. Literally every year, I intend to adopt you one of those wolves, and it's I forget every. No, it's not that much money, <laughs> oh. but I forget every year. <laughs> and I this year. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't know what we just watched. Well, I don't... I feel like only now am I kind of on the same page with the show. Really? Because I'm farther away than I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> How are you further away? I, like, I... Okay, I enjoy it. I will watch this show forever because the vibes are crazy. I want to talk about the things that we do know for sure. <laughs> That's a pretty small list, isn't it? For, well, the first so of things. which is that Cody's father is Gideon Emery. <laughs> I was really hung up on that. If yeah. you want to watch along with us, it's not an exciting watch along because it's mostly, we were very... We're mostly confused looking at yeah, the screen. But that, I could not make heads or tails of that when Harlan <laughs> saw Cody in the hospital. Yeah. And Wait, what's your last name? Oh, uh, mm, did you just get that? okay? Well, because he was like, I was getting it from my dad, and then yeah, I was thinking his dad was a doctor, but his dad is an orderly, or he like works downstairs or something. I don't know. But I, how did how did Malcolm, how did Gideon Emery, being Cody's dad, fall it into place for Harlan? Just because they had already met Malcolm, and I think that they were like. I think it just pinged in his head where he was like, oh, shit, something's afoot. Oh. I don't think Harlan had, like, figured out the entirety of it by that point. <laughs> I guess I don't understand what the werewolves are. Do they live as wolves in the woods in, like, a utopian wolf commune? I think they, they once did. And then there was a fire yeah. that made them well monster werewolves. Only her. And Byron. Baron. Baron. And no, he turned in this fire. She because so, okay, because Kristen set the this current fire, she set it to draw him out. And then we saw all those clips of him. So her becoming the arson investigator was just her playing the long game? I guess. It could, because also Malcolm said something about so could you've been human too long. Mm -hmm. So yeah. could she shapeshift into a human before the first fire? Yeah, human versus wolf. Human yes. into wolf. But once she was engulfed in flames, then she's also a monster. But we never saw her as a monster. I don't think so. I think there's a third one. I don't out. think she's the monster. So I don't think where. so. And so that's I don't understand the werewolves is it's idea. I think that's at like my the, core. Like the amount of werewolves that we're dealing with? What their entire deal is. Okay. Like what is their life like? Yeah. And so we we've been aware that they had powers, unique powers, whether or not that's five or infinite, I'm unsure. Yeah. Because we have the aforementioned Garrett's hearing yeah. and Luna's smelling and as in she can smell, not she smells. Well, we don't know. She seems like maybe she uses aluminum-free deodorant. <laughs> uh, Blake is fast, and Everett is strong. strong. 
and Kristen Ramsey can heal. Yeah. And Baron's power is transmorphic. Transmutation. She he can bite other, he can make other werewolves. But that seems like something they should all be able to do, except for maybe Everett and Blake because they were bitten, not made. It's funny because I did point out uh, something about this must have subconsciously pinged it, that the whole biting yeah. werewolves turning by bite is a new thing. Yeah. It's not rooted in mythology. It's from the Hollywood movies, the so Universal Baron, Monster movies. So Baron then by definitely that regard, bit them. Yeah. Yeah. So he's the wolf that was following them the entirety of what we were watching. That I would imagine, but I don't think he, I don't think he's the voice on we, the yeah, phone. Yeah, we still don't know who this voice, the fact that she, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard and I actually am succeeding on being on the show's side. Yeah. But there's a handful of places I really want it to meet me in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it. I feel like way I, like I feel like I am walking ninety nine percent of the way, and the show is meeting me one percent of the way, and I need the show to meet me it's at least fifteen twenty five percent. But it, when she answered the phone in the middle of this shootout, I was like, huh? like what? <laughs> what? and I know that she wanted to know who the, but it's yeah. still, it was like, yeah, and it also didn't work because we still don't know who it is. So we don't know who the father of this pack is. Although there was a wild implication at the end that it was going to be Baron somehow, or was he going to bite Garrett? He was going to bite Garrett. Okay. And make Garrett into a werewolf. A werewolf So that father. they could be, yeah. That's like a big ask for Harlan to just stop being a dick. <laughs> I think... He'll have the father he always wanted. I think that by Garrett being a werewolf, Harlan won't have the chip on his shoulder? That makes zero sense. Because he's still not his real biological father. But he'll be a real werewolf. Uh, eh. I mean, Harlan's chip doesn't Harlan's chip doesn't currently make sense. It's true. Because by all accounts, Garrett, Garrett is a fantastic has been father. Ryan die for these fucking <laughs> puppies he found in yeah. the wo in the woods. Um, we also a lack. That's of, true. Of That's true. Risha in this episode, he did get so much more than he bargained for thinking he was rescuing, rescuing wolf pups and then they just turned into human babies which are a nightmare I mean I like that in your mind that's, that's a trade it's worse wolf pups to humans is a trade down <laughs> significant downgrade I'm still very perplexed as to this what are we going 18 17 year interim yeah this 17 year quest that Ramsey was on. Yeah. That she nakedly wandered out of the woods <laughs> and then worked Straight her- Straight into an arson investigator No, no, job. no. You gotta go to community college <laughs> okay, and then okay, you, okay. You, you go to the thrift store. And then well, we have I'm to- finding, like, I, But I kind of want- I was terrified they were gonna kill her off in this episode. Me too, yeah. They haven't. I, because this is Paramount Plus, we don't know heads or tails yeah. how this is going. Yeah. I'm actually, because you're certain it's to be canceled. I Well, I'm not certain. I just am worried. I'm actually, I feel invincible. You do? I feel like we're getting another season. Okay. It's going to, shockingly, we're going to get like a three season pickup somehow. <laughs> <laughs> because you said in our watch along that in spite of the show's best efforts, I'm somehow. I'm captivated. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I can't tell. Up from down, and yet I don't want to <laughs> stop watching it. It's wild. You you did, you you did transcend about three earthly layers when <laughs> the like epic trailer version of Can't Fight the Moonlight started okay. playing. Within seconds of me name dropping Cascada, and I said, I know that's Leanne Rhymes, but that felt like okay. like a kismet situation. I saw Coyote Ugly in the theater. <laughs> When it came out, and I have such a soft spot for it. Melanie Linsky is in it. She's her <laughs> friend. I also love that song, unironically. And so to have, like you said, an epic movie trailer version of it in this episode, I left my body for there's a just, moment. There was just, so I think my biggest issue is there's so many things that I'm like, well, why now? Like, why? Like, if I mean, I guess it, I guess it does make sense, but I'm just like. If Malcolm's whole objective is to kill Ramsey because mm -hmm. she's the she-wolf that offed his comrades, I'm sort of like, how was this, like, how, 
like, why couldn't he just jump her in the street at one point? Because she's been at the hospital. And so I'm like, why is this this operatic Phantom of the Opera-esque kidnapping of Baron? I, and... I wonder if he wasn't 100% sure who she was. Maybe. Maybe. I might have to I might have to go watch it again. Yeah. I do not know if that's going to happen. Yeah. I suppose if it gets picked up, I probably will. If it gets picked up, I'll rewatch it before. In 15 months, yeah. whenever that yeah. happens. We also had a lot of role reversals in this episode. Harlan and Luna have completely switched sides. She's like, there is no pack. And she's like <laughs> walking home by herself. And Harlan is like, I can't leave Everett alone in the hospital. And then he does it anyway. And now Everett is on a 72 hour hold. I hate Because that. his dad. And well, again, okay. In, in fairness, he did leave Baron's blood all over all, his bedroom. You called that. But. They kept talking about how, how they needed to be at. At uh, Everett's mm -hmm. because his parents were away, so that was the most logical place for one more and I hour. Was like, and what reality is Garrett's not where you need to be? A hundred percent. Well, they were trying to keep it from Garrett for some reason, but like definitely take him there. And so then also, Brownie, <laughs> freaking Kendra was like, I mean, he threatened me physically. Uh, uh. She is terrible. For anyone who's an actual, like, an, a, an ongoing fan of yeah, ours, of us, yeah. you know that I love bad guys and, like, Piece I... of work women are fantastic. She's not a piece of work. She is a Karen to the nth degree. I, I hate like, her. Like, super powered. H hate her. And, and so... Because I was hoping that she might be a Victoria Argent yeah, and no, someone, I forget big, big what, no. it might have been Gracian, one of our, like, Rider dies was like she could never be Victoria no, Argent. <laughs> no, don't you dare speak her name. And... She's truly awful. And and at the and I want to be on. I want to be on his because I I uh, once again like within seconds before his dad showed up, I was mm -hmm. like, "Where's Everett's dad?" Yeah, because Everett's dad gives me good guy. Yeah, and if this continues, that will be hopefully a, a, a plot that we pick up. And I would love to bring his dad over in. Yeah. in uh, please, if you pick this up, we need 10 episodes. The eight way, is not... The way 10 episodes, mm -hmm. absolutely. But that's the thing, too, is like, I... So it's like, Everett hasn't been taking his pills, and he physically threatened his mother. No, he didn't. Um, and then he came into the hospital with a boy with a knife wound in his chest. And so... It was the eye of Sauron. It really was. <laughs> and so then, obviously, to Garrett's father, that means he needs to be committed against his will because he's a minor. I mean, if you don't know about the werewolf of it all... Okay, I'm going to say the same thing that I said at early on in, in our Buffy coverage, me and our friend Trevor. I was like, here's the thing. If your child has never done anything like this before, I think your first instinct shouldn't be you need a psychiatric hold. Your first instinct should be like, why don't we sit down and talk about this? Like, let's have a real discussion about this. And if he's but like, I think that's where something happened to me and I don't need my pills anymore, so in the run your tests. In the show's defense, there has been an ongoing... They have been presenting Everett as having ongoing behavioral issues sure. with the leaving the hospital and like his friend. I, like, in my is opinion, that's, dead? that's just a Did trauma response. I, he must have been in the pit and we just didn't see him. It seems like because they made sure that we knew all about Trent and Miller. It just feels like Connor, like they would have gone ahead and blamed yeah. Harlan for Connor, which how did they? I don't know. That's some shenanigans, but I think it's, I think it's somehow. I think it's somehow the other wolf is like pulling strings behind the curtain because Everett got put on a 72 hour hold. Uh, Blake is getting taken away uh, by CPS and Danny, because he has special needs, can't go to the same place where I'm just sort of like, why don't you send Blake to the special needs place? She's already very self-sufficient. If that's not realistic, the show did a good enough job. It's fine. It's, justifying it. It's fine. I, I But I think someone's pulling strings because otherwise there's like... It's kind of ridiculous. And then Luna is self-isolating, and now Harlan is arrested, arrested for, for murdering a cop. a cop, which he deserved to be murdered in the first place. And Careful, you'll get this episode demonetized so quickly. On that note, if you want to help support the channel, <laughs> head on over to patreon.com slash so I'm watching this show, yeah. where you can join yeah. and watch... The three dollar tier has access to lots of watch alongs and stuff, and we have a cash app at a Venmo if you just want to tip the channel, help us keep the lights on because YouTube's playing around with our eligibility and yeah, it's putting are. us unlimited because uh Kristen accurately assessed 
Kendra's character in one I of the previous episodes. I said the C word. And YouTube uh, determined it was hate speech. Someone got mad. So, <laughs> if you want to help us out. Yeah. Uh, we're also only two people away from 100 patrons. <laughs> and that would be dope. Um, yeah, so there's just, I think it has to be the other wolf pulling strings. Because I don't believe... Baron would do it, and I don't believe Kristen would do it. I don't think Baron because they well, Kristen is very like, don't you want them to have their family back together? So Baron has been a wolf, so he's like a Malia. He's hate. been he's been a he's, monster wolf. No, th this fire made him the monster. Well, yes, but he was a he was a boy when it engulfed him. So in he's flames. just been a, a wolf. He's the wolf that like child Harlan encountered. I believe so. Yes. Because that's what his vision... And he thought it was his father. But it's not. Who is their father? I don't know. <laughs> but I think he's still out there. David Boreanaz. <laughs> Imagine if that's why James Marshers was on the red carpet. Not just because it's, like, cute that they could take pictures together. He's gonna be their father. <laughs> I would shit myself. <laughs> yeah, I want to know more. That's the thing. Is yeah. It's like... I have found it a relatively baffling journey, but I do. I stand by what I said. I I I, I do feel like I'm finally understanding it. Yeah. And I want to know, like, because I want to know what Baron's deal is. What has his life been like? And yeah. and furthermore, what does a werewolf family look like? Like, are they? Is Kristen Ramsey moving into this house with them, or are they going to this like? The Wolf woods commune, like I don't think there's others out there. Is like I think there's one other one out there. The dad. I don't think there's just like multiple families of wolves in the woods right next to Los Angeles. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't know wrong. that there is like I don't know. It seems like there is more than just these five werewolves. There are dozens of them. <laughs> Do we have anything else we have to touch on? Oh, well, Blake really wants Baron to die so that she can go back to normal. You were having a hard time with that, and I get it. But I also sort of, I think that checks for her. Like, okay. wanting to go back to business as usual. Sure, it checks for her. But that is, like, my least favorite flavor of Supernatural character. Like, I just wish I wasn't special. Because I said to you in our watch along, I was like, C could you imagine if Baron died and they did just go back to normal yeah. and live normal lives? Remember that week when we were Remember werewolves? Remember that week where we were werewolves? Phew. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I just like, you Danny got, you got very... something so special. Just be special. Danny was very clued in. I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if that means that the the autism is that do they, is they still don't say autism i don't think they said or? but no autism's fine okay the, i don't know if the type of autism he is just as the gateway into the supernatural or autistic but yeah <laughs> you're fine it's fine <laughs> fighting for my life <laughs> no i totally agree with you um maybe it just, i mean he's also like a small child and like small children are a lot more susceptible to it but it's like but also it's oh, we were right the, the it weird... seems like Kristen ramsey <laughs> the human woman just came up to him arm fully extended and said it's nice to meet you that so, was a thing yeah she was actually like yeah i guess she was marking them when she did that somehow yeah to like keep them from being attacked by baron or the dad yeah i don't she should have marked Phoebe. I'm Come not on, that right? one go. I know, me too. And we still don't know where Austin is. He, he that like, was what I was going to say he too. He like knifed Baron and then was just gone. <laughs> just <laughs> also a total psychopath in that like flashback with yeah, Luna what? drawing the picture. Well, you could see the white around his entire eye. <laughs> you really could. You really could. I don't know, man. I'm not done. I this don't is know. I'm done. <laughs> I don't know. Usually when something throws us this much, we hate it. <laughs> no, I'm like, And we're still pretty much en entranced that... I said captivated already yeah, three yeah. times in this episode. It's so weird. So I weird. just need a little bit more. Yeah. I just actually need my feet on the ground. Yeah. And... I, I do feel very adrift in a sea of... <laughs> green lighting. <laughs> yeah. Green and blue lighting. <laughs> 
as you have been saying, all vibes. If yeah. I am mm-hmm. critiquing it, I think I believe that I think the writing and the plotting needs to be more solid. Yeah. It, we need to solidify that a little bit. The rest of it I'm sort of fine with. I, I've i seen people criticize the acting. I think that's something that, like, normal people say mm-hmm. when they can't, like, like, the average viewer will be like, the acting's bad, and they, they don't really know. It's, it's like pitchy. No one really knows what that means. It's not amazing, but oh, I think it's fine. I, I think, think across the board, especially with the kids, it's pretty even, which helps that like none of these kids is outclassing the other. Mm-hmm. And then they are all outclassed by Rodrigo Santoro and Sarah Michelle Geller, which again is told and, and Gideon Emery, which is totally fine. Did Gideon Emery survive this? Yeah, because oh, yeah, they like, it, made a point that he had to They need him alive. Which I don't just Maybe as, like, evidence or proof that, like, something? I don't know. But if anything, they'd be proving there's not werewolves, so to keep it safe. I don't know. No, no, they could, like, pin stuff on him, probably. Uh, I mean, does he really, really deserve that? Uh, well, he's also giving his son drugs from the hospital to sell on the down low, so... Times are hard. I want to know how he's getting into that Pixis machine to get all those drugs anyway. For my professional opinion, just tighten it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's like right now it's like you poured Jello mix in your refrigerator. There's too much vodka in this Jello <laughs> well, shot, and it is not it's solidifying. It's not solidifying. <laughs> it's like you didn't put it in a mold. You just like dumped it in your refrigerator. You need to put it in a mold. So it's everywhere, and I don't know how to eat it. <laughs> it needs to be in a mold. <laughs> I had fun. Yeah. So, um, okay. Well, on that note, uh, maybe we'll see you again. Maybe we won't. Yeah. If you subscribe, we'll definitely see you again. Um, we are Rachel and I are currently watching Teen Wolf. We'll be starting season yeah. three soon in like a couple weeks, and we know how y'all love that. Uh, you can join the Patreon for full unedited reactions to that. We only have season two up right now, but like I said, three will be coming. Mm-hmm. A and B. And uh, Riverdale is starting back up. If you want to watch the end of Riverdale with Final us. Final season. Drag Race. Yellow um, Jackets season two. We'll be doing that mm-hmm. as well. So, all right. Um, with that, we will bid you adieu. Bye. Can't bite the moon like deep in my heart. Surrender my heart. Deep in the dark. Because <laughs> you know.